Hello, in this series we are going to cover if I have a specific fruit called apple, right? And I need a sum for that particular product. So this is the apples we are seeing it from this variety of fruits, right? How we can do that? So simple formula called sum if we can add a sum if. Adding a sum if will select the fruits category first, comma, what is the criteria? This is the criteria and what? particular amount you want so this is the amount i need it bracket close press enter you can see the 150 from the apples so if you want to do a validation you can do that as well Let's complete your call just go to the filter select apples and then you could see only apples will get added and you could see 150 is matching such kind of tips i used to create on discover talent if you like it please subscribe and thanks for watching. Stop wasting your time doing these steps manually, removing a white space. Instead, just use this method, select the entire content, use Ctrl H, and then find what this is the white character which we are using it and replace with so and so. Ensure that you are using this wildcards option on and click on this replace all. As soon as you hit replace all, this replacement automatically get done at one simple click thanks for watching have a great day ahead export that into the excel uh, when we do a manually it will take a time consuming i have one trick in excel itself you can do that easily okay let's jump on the screen this is the data set which i'm showcasing you right now this is from the pdf form only okay uh, this is the data set i'll just pull up the screen this is the pdf file what i will do i'll just copy this path okay control n for new screen click on data here's an option called get transform data and then i'll click on the url paste it the path click on ok you can see one pop-up called navigator and here you could see select the any kind of a table right i'll select the first one and then i'll just load it okay you could see the real time update hope you find this useful folks so please subscribe my channel dosto with the help of ms visio agar aapko organizational chart import karna hai ms excel ke andar to hum kaise karenge wo main aapko dikhane wala hu insert mein click karenge hum my addins ke andar uh, addins pull karenge microsoft visio राइट right? ऐड करने के बाद इस तरह से कुछ पॉपअप आपके लिए ओपन हो जाएगा फिलहाल के लिए मैं लॉगिन नहीं कर रहा हूं क्योंकि ये टाइम ले लेगा तो इसे मैं थोड़ा ड्रैग नीचे करके कंटिन्यू विदाउट साइन इन करके इस तरह से कुछ विंडो आ जाएगी एंड देन क्विक स्टार्ट पे क्लिक करते ही इस तरह से कुछ मेरा टेबल छोटा सा ओपन हो जाएगा राइट right? अब जैसे कि मुझे कुछ चेंजेस करने हैं स्टार्ट डिसीजन राइट प्रोसेस एंड स्टॉप इस तरह से कुछ डायग्राम आया कुछ चेंजेस मुझे अगर करने हैं तो मैं यहाँ पे डिसीजन अगर ये मुझे डिसीजन नहीं चाहिए इसे डॉक्यूमेंट चाहिए एंड देन ये प्रोसेस नहीं जबकि मुझे चाहिए डेटा बेस करके चेंजेस करने के बाद शेप्स में रिफ्रेश पे क्लिक करते ही अगर आप देखोगे तो डेटा मेरा चेंज हो जाएगा इस प्रकार आप आ, और भी डायग्राम्स यूज कर सकते हो एम एस के अंदर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे अहेड वेलकम टू डिस्कवर टाइम फ्रेंड्स मैं आपका दोस्त विनोद ये सीरीज में हम देखने वाले हैं मोड फंक्शन सो मोड फंक्शन यूज कैसे करते हैं ये कुछ डमी सा डेटा है मेरे पास ब्रेड आइटम डोनट्स कुकीज केक्स राइट कुछ एक डॉलर मैंने ऐड कर रखी है अमाउंट फेज में अगर आप देखोगे यहाँ पे स्मॉल अमाउंट में डेटा है मेरे पास इसलिए आप इजिली नेविगेट कर सकते हो 20 इज द रिपीटेड वैल्यू राइट बट अगर मेरे पास लार्जर डेटा सेट है और मुझे आइडेंटिफाई करना है मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंट वैल्यू फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर डेटा सेट तो कैसे उसको आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे तो सिंपल वे में इज इक्वल टू मोर फॉर्मूला हम प्रेस करेंगे एंड देन रेंज को सिलेक्ट करते ही हमें वो रिजल्ट दिखाई देगा उम्मीद है दोस्तों आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी है अगर अच्छी लगी हो तो प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग। हे एक्सेल गीक्स इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू कवर मोड फॉर्मूला सो मोड फॉर्मूला विल हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंट वैल्यू इन यूर गिवन डेटा सेट सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट सिंपली जस्ट सिलेक्ट ए सेल टाइप इज इक्वल टू एंड देन मोड फॉर्मूला सिलेक्ट द मोड Select the entire data range, bracket close, press enter. 
you could see the result right i'll just highlight this 20 dollar is most frequent value in our data set hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching Welcome to Discover Talent, friends. Uh, so I got a commentary on my Discover Talent uh, page, okay, asking for on how to create a issue tracker. So these are the fields majorly we focus upon. These are the fields. I'll just make some formatting over here, okay. So this will help us to see a better view of issue tracker. And I'm creating parallel, okay, bold project x y z whatever it is okay you can just add your name zoom in yeah and we are done this is how you can maintain your project issue tracker thanks for watching have a great day ahead hey excel geeks in this series we are going to cover topic called median function so median function will help you to identify the middle value which is available in your data set how we can do that which is using a simple function called median and then we'll select the range and then just after bracket close just press the enter if in case you haven't subscribed my channel i urge you to please subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a great day ahead in excel how to add a equation right uh, to add a formula we can say in this tutorial let me quickly jump on the screen so this is the equation which I have added and I want to drag this equation in the Excel sheet. How we can do that? To write in an equation or a formula, how we can do this? Just click on the insert and then there is an option called symbol. Here is the equation and you can drag it down. Teller expansion, trigonometry, 1, 2, okay. Just click on area circle. I'll click on the area circle. I want to drag it down this. And when you click on the equation form, you will get this ribbon added and you can just add and delete whatever script, fraction, accent you want to add it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Hello Excel Geeks. Let's check out H stack function in this tutorial, right? We already seen V stack, it's vertically stack, and now we are seeing it H stack. H stack is basically will help you to get data horizontal form, correct? This is the data set I have, and this is the result. So it's is equal to H stack, and then I'll select this array first, and then I'll ensure that I don't want this blank space. So that's the reason I'll just only select this particular content and just press enter. You could see the result result is uh, not more or less changed however basis on the our you know when we have a larger data set that time this might be a helpful thanks for watching have a great day ahead dosto ye excel series mein hum sikhne wale hai madhika aur maybe आप इसे कह सकते हो मीडियम फंक्शन जो हम हिंदी में से कहते हैं मादी का तो मादी का बेसिकली होता क्या है हमारे पास अगर कुछ एक बिग डेटा सेट है और हमें इसमें से एक मिडल वैल्यू को पुल आउट करना है जो मिडल में अवेलेबल है अगर मैं इस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज को असेंडिंग ऑर्डर या फिर डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर में करता हूं तो मेरे पास एक मिडल में वैल्यू आ जाएगी राइट अगर मुझे वो वैल्यू को फेच करना है तो मैं कैसे करूंगा विद दी हेल्प ऑफ सिंपल मीडियम फंक्शन तो आते हम हमारे कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन पे इज इक्वल टू मीडियम फॉर्मूला एंड देन यहां पे मैं वैल्यूज को सिलेक्ट कर लूंगा एंड देन एंटर आप देख सकते हो दोस्तों हमारे पास इजी वे में मीडियम फंक्शन की वैल्यू आ चुकी है होप यू फाउंड दिस यूजफुल फोक्स MS Excel spreadsheet whatever formula you are adding right uh, with the help of simple function which is show formula you can see it now you can also click on this option which is shortcut key displaying on the screen you can do that too right or uh, maybe if you are not aware how to use a shortcut key simply just click on this show formulas and you can see whatever formula applies for the spreadsheet thanks for watching
Hexel Geeks, now you can simply calculate this average, count, count numbers, max, minimum, sum, standard deviation and variable at one simple click. How? Just need to click on this table first, press Ctrl T to convert into the table and then there is an option called total row. You could see this result available here, right? Now when I click on this option called average, you could see the at the top this formula has been generated, right? I just equal to subtotal. 101 and then I'll select the data set bracket close press enter okay you could see this average has been reflecting over here likewise if I need for a count what I'll do I'll just select this I'll click on this 103 formula is only changed okay so I'll do a control D and then I'll say 103 enter you could see the result likewise we can do it for others as well Majority times you have seen that you know uh, your grid lines, headings, and formula bar is turned off in the MS Excel. Okay, in this series, we are going to showcase you how you can turn that on. Welcome to the screen, folks. Uh, this is the function, right? Function bar, which is your formula bar. These are the headers and these are the grid lines basically. How to turn that off, turn on in the view ribbon, there is an option called shows right in the shows you can see headers then formula bar grid lines okay when i press this checkbox off right uh, you could see that particular options went off right i'll just click that option once again and you could see that's available whoa this is amazing do you want to create a visualization like this okay it's a very simple task okay folks what do you need to do emoji sign windows key and uh, dot okay this is the emoji keypad you should see it on your excel screen okay so now what we will be gonna do over here is is equal to sign and then ref function ensure that you are keeping this bracket open double inverted comma and then again windows key dot this time what i'll do i'll just select a any different logo this time okay this i just need a only one you can keep two that's completely fine i just want a one for now okay number of times number of times i have already have this available in the column b so i'll select that bracket close and i'll hit pens enter cool the data over here okay i'll just pick this uh, headers on the top and uh, I'll just merge it on the top rows and I'll add one logo, okay? This is the logo which I'm searching through a shapes, okay? And then icons, I'll type a search over here. I'll just paste it the logo over here, okay? I'll just select this and then data validation list. I'll just select this list, okay? Uh, now I'll add a formula, okay? The formula is very important over here. I'll add a is equal to sign filter function. I'll select this entire array first, okay? comma then i'll include this first header and which is this particular header is available on the top as well okay so we'll select this and then we'll add a appropriate formula and then i'll say not available if in case it's uh, no blank details okay and then this is how it looks like boom thanks for watching once again please subscribe our channel Let's use this technique adding a date in MS Excel instead of doing this manual step. Okay. We can easily use a date picker option. How to do that? Just select this and then convert into the short date and then insert your date whichever you want to and then just simply with the help of date picker you can easily add your dates. Ensure that you know you are adding your file on one drive or be cloud so you will get this option which is which is drop down date selection thanks, thanks for, watching. for watching have a great day ahead hey excel geeks in this series we will be covering how to add a number sequence in excel right suppose uh, right now you are doing this manual stuff numbers one numbers two okay if doing this manual step just do this simple formula is equal to double inverted comma nos 
and then ampersand add sequence function I'll say 365 column 1 bracket close press enter cool you could see the result available okay numbers I'll say numbers and simply I'll just add a space over here press enter you could see automatically this number get added cool until 365 you can just change it basis your requirement if needed let's create a organizational chart in MS Excel quickly okay this is the way which we have received the data and this is the way we want to interpret now we can create just simply copy this and then click on this option insert illustration there is an option called smart art this option organizational chart okay you see this data added just click delete and paste it over here right what we want we want subhash at the top cool and then we want this name here cool so you can create your own beautiful organizational chart like this you can also change the color as per your own requirement in Excel there is an option called consolidation which help us to save our time instead of not doing a manual step you can easily do that in data ribbon tab there is an option called consolidate you just need to click there and then just add your references over here so this is the reference for me i'm just selecting this entire stuff over here and then i'll just click on this add likewise i'll do it for this as well and then this to add it okay before i press ok button what i'll do i'll just click on this close i'll select this entire range again i'll click on this option called consolidate and then hit ok you could see this particular details are added automatically right basis the our addition thanks for watching have a great day ahead in excel learning is never ending right today we are going to see the formula called average how we can use the average in a three different ways so this is basically data set i have and we are going to display the result over here on the top of it you can see the formulas ribbon tab you will click here auto sum just click on the drop down and click the average you could see the result for the average right I click double you see the range likewise you can also do is equal to average function and then okay and then just open the bracket select this range bracket close okay this is the second method now the third method you just need to click on insert function you will get this pop-up double click on the average select the number second third and this would be the fourth okay as soon as I do a selection you will see the result over here okay just press the enter you could see the result hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching so just demo purpose i have opened this pdf in bing browser and then there is an option called copilot right just click here and then ask bing ai so whatever text is added in your PDF right this will automatically generated by the AI itself and it's generating a summary for me right now you can see on the screen right here is a summary of my bill so whatever document we are uploading on our browser right so we will get the information then and there okay so it's an AI driven approach folks okay so you can use this free of cost and this is how the information is getting for me Hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching
Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we will be covering how to analyze a sales range for the given data set. How to do that? Just simply click on the table over here and then click on this analyze data option. As soon as you hit a analyze data, this pop-up will open. Just scroll it down. Okay, You can see the trend over here. Sales increases over time. Just click on this option. Okay, And then what you can see? Okay, just let me drag this aside. Okay, so this cool. So you could see the chart Trained and available the for this uh, particular year. You can just click on this option plus and then just click on this data labels. And then and analysis you could see over here sales increases over a time. Hope you found it useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. Geeks, now you can simply take a screenshots in MS Excel itself, right? Without using a print screen or maybe snipping tool. Simply just click on this illustration and then screenshots. Okay. Whatever screenshots you want to take, you can just definitely click on this and you will get the screenshots available. Just ensure that whatever screenshots you needed, you know, that application needs to be active on your window. So you will get the screenshot thanks for watching have a great day ahead when you have a requirement uh, for a sum of entire values and uh, bifurcation of this specific year how to do that just select this click on this recommended chart first and then there is an option called all chart click on this pie and then here we go okay we just simply click on this bar pie and then sales so click ok you could see this chart is available and then you just need to chart element and then data level okay what you can see uh, this data set right 2018 right this is the bifurcation added over here sum up value is over here and the rest of the other cells in the pie okay this beautiful representation will really help you to add a value in your infographic way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.